I'm going to show you guys TerraMap today. It's a free piece of software. You don't have to pay a dime. You can donate if you like, but they don't demand it. It's found for free online. If you Google TerraMap, you should find it without any difficulty. But if you'd like, you can follow the link in the description on this video, and it'll take you right to the website. This is the website for the app itself. It provides some descriptions. It's got some good resources. The opening page just gives some basic fundamentals about the software. This is it loaded. Don't be intimidated by the bare bones nature of the interface. It's actually very easy to use. You'll notice nothing's loaded. Well, click on the worlds on the top left and you'll come up with a few options. I'm going to be selecting world NRLP for new release let's play. And I'll show you in just a moment what happens when you do that. Nothing. Except black, of course. Once it's loaded, don't panic. You'll notice on the player's selection, it defaults to no spoilers. So basically, you're seeing nothing because you haven't asked to see anything. If you open up that drop-down menu, you can select the view of any player that's explored so far, or even the all spoilers option to see the entire map. I'm going to open up with NRLP. It's just a new character I've created to run around the opening little area that you start in. And as you can see, he hasn't explored very much. This is it zoomed in. You can use the interface to do that, or you can use your mouse scroll wheel. And you can see some details, including a couple of little torches in the cavern. So there's a lot of detail, and this is a very large map. So it's quite impressive, the amount that you can find out. But what if you're looking for, say, a particular biome? Well, zoom all the way out, select all spoilers, and it will show you the entire map. Here you see the ice biome, the dungeon, corruption, etc. If you've played a lot of this game, all of these sections should be familiar to you. And it's nice because even in well-established games, you might not know where everything is. So this is a good tool for showing you that. Now there are other features as well. You can select the blocks menu. And if you want to find, say, diamonds, I would click the diamond gem tile. And as you see it highlights the blocks where the diamonds are. Very useful if you want to, say, create a diamond hook or that sort of thing. So I encourage you all to download this and play around with the options. There are lots of them, and I'm only just touching on the basics. The website's a valuable resource, so go there if you have any questions about the software itself. There's a discussion forum. There's some documentation on, on the file structure of these maps. Check it out if you're interested. I hope the video helped you out a little bit. Like it if you found it useful, and by all means, subscribe to the channel.